Good morning. Um, happy April. Today is April 4th, 2016. Um, it's Sheena, determined to satisfy. I wanted to shoot a quick update on how things are going. Um, this morning I uploaded a video. It was just me on the scale, like a minute. Um, and I wanted to upload another one because Fit to Love Me asked me a good question. She said, is this a good result? You know, so I figured, let me talk to you guys a little more. Let you know how I've been doing. If you follow me on Instagram, determine the number to satisfied, you already know that I lost um, 1.3 pounds this week. Um, I was 190.6 pounds last Sunday, and this morning I was 189.3. Honestly, it's a good week because I went down 1.3, but it's how you look at it. Um, on Thursday morning when I weighed in, I was 187 pounds, and then Monday morning I'm 189. So. I was less on Thursday, but honestly, I just suck on the weekends. You know, I had Pizza Hut, I had brownies, um, I went to a party. You know, cer certain days I was good. Like, I remember on Saturday, I was like still trying to get my water in. You know, I still got my workouts in. So I was more aware, but I wasn't always making the right decision. You know, I ordered an egg sandwich in the morning, but I got egg whites instead of regular eggs. So it wasn't a horrible weekend, but I could have done better. And I didn't, did I track? I can't remember if I tracked, but I did really good during the week tracking. So it's been about a month since I've been on Weight Watchers, but I don't wanna give people my review on Weight Watchers because if I'm not tracking consistently, it's not gonna work. Like anything that you use, if you're not using the tools that they give you, you can't say, oh, Weight Watchers doesn't work. Well, chick, you're not even tracking your food every day. So how about you track first and then you let us know. So I'm still not ready to give my real review on Weight Watchers, but it, it is making me think more before I eat. Um, like I made my chili recipe and then I put it in portions and like chili is like seven points. You know, the fruits and vegetables are zero. So I, I am doing better with the tracking than I was when I first started. So I'm gonna check the tracker. I think I did maybe track five out of the seven days last week and I will track every day this week. Um, I've been taking pictures and I said I would upload them on um, my Facebook, but <laughs> I haven't done that every day. Um, I don't know, it's just, sometimes I'm so good, but then sometimes, you know, I just give in. Like those brownies last night, I was like, yeah, I'm eating it, I don't care. I'm surprised I was 189, probably didn't go back to 190 after I ate all that brownie. And it was late, it was like 10, 10.30, and I was on the computer, and I ate a brownie. So, Yes, it's a good result, 1.3 pounds down. I'm 189 pounds. Next week, the goal is to be under 185. The goal is to not let the weekends ruin all the hard work. Like, if I work hard Monday through Thursday and then I'm, you know, three pounds down and then the weekend comes and I'm just indulging and forgetting all that. And then it's like, all that hard work, going to BBD on Monday, you know, doing all that, you're gonna do all that, you know, make it worth it. So this week again, same schedule. I want to go to BBD. It's Body by Denise. It's like an intense cardio class. It's a lot of people in there. It's really hot, but you know, it pushes me out my comfort zone. So and it's cheaper than going to CrossFit. So I'd rather just do this for now. Um, I'm doing it for the month of April, and then after I will see if I'm going to do that or do something else. But um, I'm doing that three times a week. I joined our softball team, so I'm doing softball once a week, and then two other one day like an act of rest and things like that. So last week I said it was good because I made a schedule. I made a workout schedule and I stuck with it. I said I was gonna go to BBD three times a week and I went. So this week I'm going to BBD three times a week. I am going to softball practice and then I'll go to Blink at least once and then we'll see what my Saturday or Sunday workout will be. So that's my update. Um, I'm on a little break. I need to go back to work. Let me know how your week went last week. And guys, it's Monday. It doesn't matter whether you lost a pound, five pounds, you know, a um, point a pound, you're going the right direction. And even if you didn't lose a pound, it's a new week, a fresh start. So make sure you guys have those, hi, those um, non-scale victory goals. You know, your pair of jeans, your shirt, try them on. It's April 1st, you know, have something to compare. Even if, you know, it's April 4th now, but Try on a pair of jeans that are too tight. Try on a shirt that's too tight and take a picture, record it, save it for yourself so that at the end of April, you can see if, you know, what your progress is because maybe the scale won't go down, maybe you'll gain muscle, 
and you'll lose inches and you want to be able to see that. So um, don't forget that non-scale victory. All right, Sheena. Um, I was going to say Sheena Fidzay, then I remember that's not my name. I've been using this as a mirror sometimes. Um, if you have any questions, just drop them below. And if you want some extra support, I'm on Facebook group daily. You know, it's easy to send messages back and forth there. So I will put the link below. Well, actually, you could just email me. I'll put my email address below and I'll add you to the Facebook group. Or you can head over to my Instagram and there's a link that's still there that will bring you directly to the Facebook group. All right. Have a good day. Happy Monday. It's a new month. If you aren't closer to your goals than you were in 2016, you know, start today. Get up, take an extra walk, drink some water, get that gallon in. Just, just make the little changes. Everything doesn't have to happen overnight. I've been on this journey for over two years. There's no way. <laughs> um, learn to enjoy it. All right, bye.